Stan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One, Good Vibrations. Something just occurred to me, I thought I'd share it with you. Just a, a little old timer, a little old codger um, insider joke. Well, I don't know what you'd call it. None of my old vacuum tube operated radios ever got hacked. That's right. A hacker never put any malware on my Halicrafters SX-130 or my Johnson Viking Adventurer transmitter or my Ico Keyer. None of those old radios I, when I was at the University of Minnesota station W0YC, w, Whiskey Zero Yankee Charlie, they had a Collins 75A4 all tube receiver with a mechanical filter, would you believe, for CW and single sideband, you could switch the bandwidth. And that, now that's a relic, eh? It had a pretty good response, too, and it never got hacked. That old tube transmitter with the 3700 volt DC plate power supply that gave me this little scar that you probably can't see. Never got hacked. In fact, we didn't even know what the internet was because there was no such thing. We didn't know what the World Wide Web was. We didn't know what malware, spam, scammers on, e on email and YouTube. We didn't know about any of that stuff. And sometimes I wonder, are we happier now? And maybe a secondary aside question just for, for the fun of it. Have any of you with microcomputer controlled radios or software defined radio or other sophisticated computer devices built into your radio, have any of those devices ever had malware on them? I wonder. Hmm. Just asking. 73. This is W1GV Whiskey One, Good Vibrations, saying so long, which always translates malware or not, in my native fist to da 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 da. -da.